Welcome back to the Build Day Live here at Supermicro. Uh, joining me for this video is Sing Ging. Welcome, Sing. Hi, nice to meet you here. And what do you do for Supermicro? Hi, I'm the uh, Blade PM here. And you've got a pretty cool blade enclosure for us. Yes, uh, this is uh, the leading edge uh, design for you super blade that equipped with the uh, latest CPU, the scalable family in this uh, smallest uh, form factor blade enclosure the for you available on the market, which nobody has it. So this is a for you enclosure with 14 blades in it. Yes, that's correct. But it has the highest power Xeon scalable CPU, so it's a dual socket. It's, it's not like it's uh, underpowered because you can't get enough heat control in here. This is full power no, it's CPUs full power in here. CPU, yes. um, so I can have like 48 cores in, in each of these. Yeah, uh, you can populate enclosures. two, two uh, CPUs and also um, full uh, 16 uh, uh, channel memory and to give you enough memory for in-memory uh, computing. And is that sort of in-memory um, SAP HANA type workload the, the sort of thing you're seeing this deployed for? Uh, actually, if you want to uh, use for uh, SAP HANA, you want to pick even higher uh, memory capacity blade. Uh, we'll have another blade, it's an AU Super Blade that can uh, fully populate uh, 48 in one four away uh, blade node. Okay, so this is the, the big brother that would block both of us out from the camera if we had him here. So yes, just... that's a big brother. Right. And so what sort of workloads would be on this one? So the benefit on this one is uh, um, it's uh, focused on uh, high condensed uh, um, infrastructure. So you can put as much CPU uh, in the smallest uh, form factor as possible and still offer you redundant uh, network connectivity from the back as possible. Because there's, there's two switches in the back of here um, that I'm not going to turn this thing around because it's a little heavy, but there are two chassis switches in, in here and these are options, what are our, our high bandwidth options in here? So we have a 10G and 40G uplink, combined you will have 120G total uplink. So multiple 40 gig out of each, each side. Yes, multiple um, 40 And then 10 gig going down to each of the blades from yes. each switch. 10 gig uh, for the interconnections. Right. And um, yeah, 14 servers in, in 4U, continuing with that, that high performance. Um, so this is CPU bound workloads. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see much use of this for virtualization? Virtualization wise, uh, yes. In a uh, uh, converged infrastructure, mm -hmm. once you connect to external iSCSI flash storage, you can use the pure CPU power internally to set up like huge uh, virtualization environment. And uh, if you want to go even higher, uh, I would say uh, memory pool, you will also go use the uh, SuperVlay AU. AU. Yeah, and the benefit on for you is because uh, we uh, put everything in condense, so you help um, save your equality BL. Once uh, the cool air coming from the front side to the rear, you actually efficiently transfer the uh, heat into the air and then pass out to the hot aisle and suck it out to the data centers. And this is something unique that the uh, super play can do. The rest cannot. You know. it's, it's not quite as efficient a uh, design because of the thermal design becomes the most important thing when you're getting this sort of density in it. Yes. And then this, this is the sort of thing that you're seeing at large companies and the, the Fortune 500 scale putting in rows of racks full of these and, and getting that thermal, get the, the maximum density for their compute requirements. Yes, positive. So for a large, especially for large data centers, they're looking for a better and better thermal solution and higher, higher density because, you know, you want to save money and how you save it is by saving the daily running operation costs and utility costs. So with this high density sharing component design, you're capable to efficiently transfer heat into the air and to pass it out to the data centers and that's where you save your money. Eventually you will see your electron, uh, utility bell reduce and break the um, initial investment you put on the super blade. So it's actually a very uh, great investment for individual For the, the long term for value the long and, term. and the, the bill you pay every month becomes very significant over three That's years. That's correct. That's correct. And uh, on top of that, we actually offer centralized management so that help IT professional maintain this uh, super blade much more easier than regular 1U and 2U rack mount servers. And plus we have uh, um, uh, those 
super micro tools compatible with the Restful uh, AP, uh, APK package, so mm -hmm. you can easily uh, to manage not just one node, but the whole enclosure or to a rack level. And we were talking with Forrest earlier about the super micro switches that are being integrated over time into that management tool as well. So you get a management for the entire data center infrastructure since these are all Ethernet connected. Then you go out into a switch that is managed from the same platform. Mm -hmm. That's a, a really compelling story around a, a large scale environment that you can automate from one place. Yes, you can use uh, um, it's, uh, this what we call a uh, refish. So uh, the open source uh, um, software that you can customize your own management software to manage all your blade in one shot. So this is all Redfish supported? Yeah, Excellent. Redfish it's compatible. I, I've heard from a couple of other vendors about how important Redfish is as a standardized way of managing servers and um, the Bluefish, is it, for networking? Um, th those standards on, on API-based management rather than send a series of CLI commands in as your automation tool. And there's a really good story around using Redfish as things scale out. Yeah, definitely. So today's uh, IT and uh, data center is not about manually implement one by one anymore. People want to automate it. So the more you automate it, the easier, the better for the data center. Right. It's good to know there's, there's Redfish through these. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this video, and thank you all for watching with us. Stay tuned for a lot more videos in the Supermicro Builder Live. Thank you.